Hello, and welcome to this edition of the lovely Sim Racing Magazine. If you're looking for a Sim Hub dash for Assetto Corsa Competizione, look no further. We're deep diving into the lovely dashboard. Now, a little backstory on myself. I am a UI designer. Um, that's my daytime job. So what I do is I design user interfaces. Um, mostly for mobile applications, but you know, websites and all that it's stuff I've all, I can also do. So that's my daytime job. Sim racing is my hobby. Put those together, you got the magic recipe right there. So I'm also a bit of a coder. So Sim Hub actually just blends everything I love to do. Sim racing, designing, and coding into one project, which is, you know, it's, um, it's awesome to be able to do these things. Now, a lovely dashboard. Uh, where can you get it? Let's switch over to my desktop and see how you can get it as well. So there we go. In the link, uh, in the description of this video, you will find a link to GitHub. It's where I store and have all the updates for the lovely dashboard. Um, when you get here, there's a lot of information about the lovely dashboard. Most importantly, you have to download and install. Here you'll um, have the requirements, which is the lovely Sim Hub Dash application. Uh, let me turn myself on there. And you will also need the Google Roboto uh, font family, which is designed by Christian Robertson, and it's a free font provided by Google. A link on, on GitHub that also exists. Um, the, um, the dashboard is compatible with any uh, 16 to 9 ratio uh, screen. It has been designed natively for the uh, Vocor 5 inch, so 850 by 480 pixels. But it will work with any, uh, actually, in fact, it will work with any screen you're using with SimHub. But if it's a 16 to 9 screen ratio, it will fit perfectly within that screen. If not, it'll probably have some black space on top or bottom, left and right, depending. So if you're using your mobile phone or your tablet, you still can use this. Um, it might not be perfect, but, you know, it, it'll still work. Um, so again, back to the um, GitHub page. I've got all the features. Um, you can also go into details like the, the entire feature set, how this works, um, and uh, what every screen as well can do. We'll get into the details on that in just a second. So when you're here, you go to releases, always download the latest version. Um, tomorrow I will be releasing 1.3 beta, which is the version we, I will be demoing today on my device. Um, this is the basically the um, the idle page if you're not running anything. So there it is. I think this race was in Silverstone. Uh, ignore the lap times. This is just a test, obviously. All right. So uh, when you download the uh, the file from GitHub, you will get two files. One is the SimHub dash file, and the other one is the lead profile. So this is the latest lead profile, which we'll be shipping tomorrow with the 1.3 version. I made some changes on, you know, uh, flags and stuff like that, which are displayed around the lead. But if you don't have a lead profile, it's fine. You can still just use um, the dashboard. Now, I don't know if you can see it really well here, um, but actually, you know what I can do? I can launch the dashboard on my monitor and share that with you. There you go. All right, so this is the same exact thing that's working on my dash, but I'm also using it on my monitor. So it's better for you guys to see. All right, so I can also point at things. So um, what do we have here? What's the, what does this dashboard do? So the first thing is the most, the, the central bit um, in here in the center, we have the lap difference to your session best time. So, you know, it's all plus minus depending. And it also changes colors to green and red, depending on if you're faster or if you're slower. Uh, you obviously have the gear you're currently in and the RPM. Uh, right underneath, we have throttle, throttle and brake. So you can always see what's going on with your inputs. Um, and in a replay, you can, you know, just go through that and look at it and, and see what's going on. Uh, right underneath that, we have your current live speed. Uh, you're going. So this is, you know, fundamentally, it's it's basic information. Now here, top left, we have your lights with all light stages. So you have your uh, normal lights and your high beams. And if you flash your lights, this will go on and off. You have your rain light, 
and you also have your wipers. Ignition over here. On the right hand side, you have the um, session type. So it says race. If this was qualifying, you would have qualifying. If it was uh, open practice, it would say practice, um, free practice or whatever. And this is the remaining time. Uh, this is your position currently in the race. And these are how many laps you have completed. Um, one of the most important bits is this one here over the, on the left. You have front left, front, uh, front left, front right, rear left, rear right, tires and brakes. So you can see your pressure. You can see the tire temperature and you'll also see the brake temperature. Um, these are also coded uh, with color the same way as uh, ACC does. So I did some research on the ACC forums and I found that these are the actual right color temperatures for both tires and brakes. Um, so you can just quickly glance and know if everything's right. So you obviously see the rear brakes are really cold right now, but these are the first laps. Um, and you also have your dry, uh, your set, tire set, and you know, if it's dry or wet, it'll display here. Going on to the right hand side, uh, three important lap times, uh, the predicted lap, uh, your last lap and your best session lap. Um, the predicted lap also has one more thing, which is quite interesting. If you invalidate a lap, that turns red. So during qualifying, it's really nice to have this and quickly see if your lap is valid or not. Uh, going further down a bit, we have some uh, session information regarding the air temperature, track temperature and track status. So this is optimum right now, but we have, um, I've designed uh, for every type of track status and they also change by color. So you can see wet is blue, for instance, and if it's the green track, it will be green. If it's optimum um, and I don't remember what else, it's in GitHub, you can find all the color codes there. Uh, it's white, so it's a bit less obtrusive. And obviously, on the bottom side, we have all your settings for your car. So you've got traction control, traction control two, if it's available, your ABS, your brake balance, map, and fuel. Fuel we'll look into in just a second. Now you'll notice here, traction control and ABS also light up. So depending on um, if the traction control is engaged or not, or ABS, it will also show it to you while you're driving. Um, it showed up before, so I might not do it now. Um, now, this is the main screen. The, the lovely dashboard has two more screens, but we won't get into those just yet. This screen also has some actions, if you're aware of how SimHub works. Uh, oh, ABS, there it is. I love that. And traction control does the same thing in blue. So if you're aware of how SimHub works, you can assign certain actions of the dashboard to your wheel and you can change how the dashboard looks like. So currently I have assigned action A to the tire module, to the left module and action B to the fuel. Now, personally, let me switch over here. Now you can see, so I've mapped on my wheel on this button over here. So this is my action A. And this one is my action B. So as I'm driving, I can just hit that. Gear is down here. Action A is here. Same thing over here. I can just flick those action A and action B buttons and I can change the dashboard. Um, if I hit action A, the left module over here changes to relatives. So now I can see myself in relative position to everyone on track. And I can also see my position, car number and name. And I'm also at zero. So I know that the guy ahead of me, Haas, is 0 0.8 ahead of me and so forth. And then uh, A Pani is uh, 2.3 seconds behind me. So you have that. And I hit action A once more. And now I see the class standings. So class standings work um, pretty good. I, I like the way they work, actually. So you got one through seven. But since I'm 10th, the last position is always reserved for myself. So um, you can see, you know, who's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then I can see myself. And the timings over here are always the gap to the leader. So I'm 13.2 seconds away from the leader, not the guy ahead of me. Uh, so if you want to see that, it's the relatives. So that's over here. And if I hit action again, it goes back to the, um, uh, back to the tires. Now action B changes 
the fuel uh, module over here. So right now I can see how many liters I got, my average consumption, and how many laps are left with that the liters of fuel that I have. If I hit action B, I can see how much time left I got with the fuel that I have. So obviously this helps. So you can see you got seven minutes in a race, you got 12 minutes of fuel left, you're safe. But I took it a step further. So if I hit it once more, now this is the refuel panel. So currently you can see that I will cross the, fin cross the finish line with 8.1 liters of fuel. I'm way, way too loaded for, with fuel for this race, but whatever. If my fuel wasn't enough, then this thing over here, refuel, would give me an estimate of how much fuel I need to finish the race. So I have some math going in there, um, and it's estimating how much I need to finish the race. And all of these over here are calculated based on your best lap. So if your last lap was slower or not, it will still use your best lap. If you don't have a best lap yet, it will just use your last lap. So there's a bit of... Um, thinking behind that so if you're just starting a race and you've done some invalid laps so you don't have an actual best lap yet to count against it will use your la your last lap to calculate all the refueling you may need um, once you have a best lap it will always use that so it always uses um, your last lap or your best lap if it's available now this is for the main screen. So as you're racing, you can swap through and, and just you know get all this information, which is kind of useful and easy, uh, especially if you map it somewhere on your wheel, it's easy for you to access. The dashboard has two more screens. Um, I have a button over here. I hit that button. You can see they both change because it's the same thing basically right now. Um, hit that, this button. I loop through three more screens, uh, all three screens of the Sim Hub dashboard that I created. So let's take a look at that again. All right, so hit button one, and I have uh, the timetable screen. So then timetables timetable screen, we have your class standings. So this is you within your class. Again, this is gap to the leader. So right now I'm 14 point, you know, three, 13 seconds, whatever, uh, away from the leader. And then we have all the relatives here. Now in the relatives, um, I've also coded in if um, you're approaching lapped cars, so you'll see them in blue. And if you're being lapped, that driver will be in red. And um, along with that, the fastest lap will also show here in purple. Uh, obviously, the fastest lap is now held by someone in the first position, so you can't see it, but it does turn purple, their best, their best lap. And the final screen, that's available is the map. So the map is pretty much simple. You can see everyone on the track. Um, you still have the class standings here uh, and your gap to the leader. As you can see, I'm number nine and I'm way back from the leader. You can also see how much time left for the race and basically the stats, the same stats for the race here. And in any screen, you can go through your fuel. They still work and swap out. And even here, you can go and you know, look at that estimation and calculator. And that is, I think, all there is to this lovely dashboard. If you have any suggestions, ideas, or things that you may want to see in the lovely SimHub dashboard, um, add them as a comment. Contact me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, anywhere you want. Um, even on GitHub, you can raise an issue. And Lovely Sim Hub Dashboard is also on Race Department, which if you enjoy, you can also review. Link is in the description as always. Hope you enjoy it, hope you download it, and I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much, and enjoy racing.